Hello guys, my name is Vinay Balaji and welcome to another professional prep video. In today's professional prep video, we'll be talking about how to get the date and time in Java. So to begin, let's just talk about how you get the date. So currently up top, you have an import for the date. This is the import that you need to receive the date and that's what Java will be using. So to set it up, you do date, the and we have to have the name of the date. So let's just do the time equals new operator and then date with no parameters. That is how, you, that's the first step. And then if you want to print it out, you'll do system.out.println the time. So essentially what I did here was I got, I used the date class or the date like import. And I basically call the date as a name and we're trying to print it out here. So if I run this, it should be printing out it as an annual, uh, as a military time. So Wednesday, April 22nd, 1924, 12. Uh, if you look at the top of my screen, it is April 22nd and it is, well, 724, which is 1924 in military time. So obviously some of you might not be using military time. So I'm gonna introduce you to an import called simple date format, which will basically help you format the date. Uh, that should not, there should be no E right there. So to set that up, you do simple date format, and then we can call it time. Um, we can use the time with an E. No, that'll probably make it look confusing. The times with an S. And then we can use the newer operator, very similar to the, the, how we set up the date. Then we do simple date format. And then inside the parentheses, we in fact have our the format, like how we would like to format our date. So we'll do, we'll like hours, minutes, seconds. And um, after that, you must be wondering how to print it out. So very similar to our previous uh, date example. So we do system.out.println and then it would be the times dot format and then in parentheses again and then inside that parentheses we will be having the time and did I spell that wrong? Oh, my apologies. And then there we go, we close it out. Um, and what this will do, it, it is supposed to print it out the way I have it on the top right of my screen, at 726. So let me run this. Uh, let's see. Um, oh, I see the error. I think I used S, there we go. Got it, all right, cool. So essentially I am referring to the current time because all the, this class does is format and format it in a different way it's not necessarily that the times already knows what the date is so that's why i had to use the time sorry i used the s it probably was going to be confusing um but that is typically how you do it if you have any questions please put them in the comments below oh uh, actually before i finish i'd like to introduce you guys to a site which has a lot more different ways of formatting um here all right right here this site has so many different ways you can format um different like dates like right here it's date month year date month year with like four spaces so you can put like 2020 um this is a really good site i'll put this link in the description um in case if you want to use any different patterns for this you know date method um other than that, I hope you guys had a really good day. You learned something and uh, stay safe. Thank you.